It is, it's, it's out of shipping containers. So they got flop up lids on them. That is cool. So we're just walking in and there's an old boy seen us, recognized. We're a pretty good fella. He'll do it Two wood cutters in Vegas, right here. <laughs> and all they got is palm trees. <laughs> we're, we're, we're screwed. How do you sell that? What's the market for that? <laughs> Champa Pillar Stadium, here in Las Vegas, Nevada. The live traffic, to, just to keep it safe. And you can do it left and right. If you're working in between an area, two buildings, you want to make sure that doesn't happen. You can have them all on at the same time just to make it more efficient. And continue doing what I'm doing. So we're pretty close to grade. I'm going to stick in. It's doing it all for me. Stays on grade. I can take over. Fill the bucket. I can do it with the bucket open like that. Or I can bring the bucket down nice and flat as well. Which we'll do that. You leave a nice finished pass. Get down to grade. I'm going to stick in. The bucket is maintaining flat grade and it leaves a beautiful ditch down at the bottom that I did one time. It was on grade one time and it is perfectly flat and we want to make sure that we're good. So we're going to take the bucket teeth back down there to make sure that it stayed on grade. Going down. Right in. Within three hundreds on grade. I did. I just told the computer what to do. I track back. I will rebench, and I just continue that process all day long. That is a standard feature on this machine. Everything I just showed you comes on every one of these 325 next to So, okay, in this booth they had this loader. This is a cool little mini loader. I was really impressed with it. It's a European company. I killed the the sound to it because it had music in it, and I've been having a heck of a time with these music stuff, killing monetization and all that mess and whatever. I thought about I thought about seeing y'all old McDonald, but uh, I'm probably get charged monetization on old McDonald if he's been uh, singing myself. But the cool thing about this loader is it's got a uh, look at look, just watch it run. And they said when you swing the boom out to the side, the oscillation joint locks on it. So you're stuck when you see how you swung out the side now. The water loader will the water the water will not oscillate. What I'm trying to say is the back axle won't oscillate on it when the loader's set like that. So it helps shores it up for the uh, you know the sideways stuff that he's got going on there. I'm sure it's an expensive loader. Very cool setup. Very effective working. And it handles the weight pretty good. From what the guy was uh, fooling around on, I mean, it looks like it. the balance is there and it handles the weight really good. Ain't that productive looking? That cool. I mean, doing little finish spots and stuff like that, it just looks productive as all get out. Yeah, there's a lot of moving parts and there's a lot of stuff going on. And that's one thing you're always battling when you're making these calls on equipment like this. Is just how many moving parts does the machine need to still be, you know, productive and, you know. I never seen him crab steer, and I don't know if the thing can crab steer or not. I'm sure it can. But I mean, it's. <clears throat> I don't know, it'd be interesting. This company, I don't know how you pronounce it, Macalak or Macalak or Makalaka, Hookaluka. It looks like they, uh. Most of the stuff they make is pretty daggone unique. Here he's going to do some, uh, I think he's doing more showing off here. He's going to show how the balance works in this thing. How you doing? Hey. Yeah, we're in Vegas right now, Bob. I think it's the one. I don't know. I'm editing through here. In a hurry trying to edit this thing together. I got other stuff to do. But uh, I wanted to make sure and get this all shared with everybody. Yeah, here he goes. Oh, no. 
He starts doing his funky stuff. There it is on the side there. Now what he's showing there is how it will not oscillate. So look at that back axle. He's carrying it up off the ground. See it there? Set it back axle raising. That's because it's not allowed to oscillate when it's in. Now, when it's in the normal position, supposedly it oscillates and moves around like a normal loader does. There's going to be more moving parts to get it to do that. So I don't know, you know, if it's worth worthwhile or not, but it's there. That is cool. <clears throat> and there he's always going to get out. He's calling her quits. All right, that's got it, boys. There you go. Ta-da! Just an awful small bed for an awful big rig. Looks good. For trains. It's a back over trains. See, it's like, okay, like he's got it set up over it's there. It's like, how here. many grease certs can we get on one machine? Yeah, yeah it takes no. a full eight hour day to grease this thing. Yeah, it do, yeah. We got a hydraulic line leaking somewhere. <laughs> uh, well, what function is it running? Hell, I don't know. I've been pulling <laughs> levers for a week and a half. I ain't found it. It works really great on that side. Oh. It's kind of like a forestry machine with all the, the buttons and knobs and dials. What? Man, this thing will be a maintenance nightmare. You got a backhoe and a fender, and back on the back, loaded in the front. Articulates. It's got a leather steering wheel. Shoo! A lot of greasing. Well, because they got a grease hose to get to that. I guess you don't have to grease it with outriggers now. So when we talk about it, the 930 wheel loader on the front, you've got a 313 or a 1310 excavator on the back side. You've got the ability to I think you hit the button and go get the machine. Oh, that was By the time you get back, you're down. Oh, oh, oh. There you go. See? Hit the button to go get the machine. Yeah, by the time you get back, it's gonna be down. Look. Yeah. No, that was slick. Let's come back in 15 years and see how well it works. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's the real thing. Go down the road, you got an air link, fall down and drag him down the road. <laughs> <laughs> that's my luck! Yeah. <laughs> Let's go ask him. I want to see him go back up. <laughs> they got some bars on They'll the raise faster. So he didn't. Guys, so the, what's the ram for? So that just dampens it. So it doesn't yeah. just dampen it. Yeah. So it, it just yeah. pushes oil from one side of the cylinder to the other. Yep. It's just so different. It's too fast. 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 It's what if I'm just pulling in a steep driveway as we're raising it down? You can stop right there. Why do you gotta be difficult, Captain? <laughs> I'm just giving them something to think about when they go back and they change that pattern. I don't know. I don't know what. Do you think it's truly pending? Or you think they just stuck it on her? It's not that sticker. Yeah. They said, no, they're not paying for that because the next person changes the shape of those ramps and then it was pointless. Oh, the skid steer? Yeah, their baby skid steer. We still have the baby, or we can go back. No, send it back, please. Send that. Back. What? Oh, there's a guy that's there's a guy that's got a log truck that's one of them. That's a that's a truck. It is, but. There's 
a guy on uh, fa Facebook or Instagram that's got a log truck like this. Really? He, he, he logs in like Maine or something. The Golden Road. Well, for him it is. He's on the Golden Road. It's cheap and he can haul a big load with it. Wonder how much wears in that center section. I guess not bad, or they wouldn't have made it thin like that. Girl uses something like this. For grading. Would you make any use of that? I'm sure there's a. I'm I'm sure there's a spot, you just, yeah, you just, just don't know what it'd be just yet. Yeah. Did you, you see how this works? Yep. The advantage of that is if you think circumstances work easily, you can keep them all in a second machine. Yeah. Hey, which one do you always want to be at now? and my arm's too short. Okay, here we go. See what we got. I don't want no dirt on mine. I'll take a Bud Light. Do you got it in you, bud? Okay, hang on. Let's sit right here. Yes, I'm helping him. This is gonna be bad. This is gonna be very bad. Turning out well. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Thoughts. I'm sure you're not asking, but I think there's more cost effective ways of waiting. 
we're pulling for you. <laughs> we are your cheering section. Hey, if they're too good to drink a free dirty beer, piss on. You know what I said? <laughs> I got to pee. I got that on baby. It's happy hour. I got to pee. I don't get another drink. That's what you sound like. No. Miss Jenna, that's what you all sound like. I don't care. I got to pee and don't take another drink. You're the one that wanted us to come. So, you don't want to hear it. You invited us. Are you, are you trying to shop off me? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, long no, way, no, people. No, no. Excuse me. Hey, 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 hey. Get any shots you want. Hey. Get any shots you want. Oh my God, look what, is, look what is in the background, though. That is very cool. This is what uh, Brent Lutcher would love to have one day. What's he thinking? Like taking old dump trucks and then taking the beds off and yeah, making them? Making a multi. I guess they're uh, speed. I guess they're speed. You have more speed. Yeah, because I, I think I could second that notion. Yeah, 35 mile an hour. <laughs> yeah, mile an hour with a take break. Hour, take break. <laughs> no. That old gal at that uh, booth there yesterday, she asked me about that. 35 mile an hour. You set her straight though. You learned her. You yeah, learned her but really I did good. not. I, I did, didn't disclose any equipment manufacturer's name. Or person? You can save all of them. I can't. No, can I'm not. You're just trying to ruin my chances with Balbo. No, I'm, not. I'm trying, I'm trying see, to help. You got to say. Trying. You got to say their name to increase your chances. <laughs> you, all right, Balbo. What are you saying? There ain't no vowel in Balbo. <laughs> Is that what you're technically saying? That Balbo don't have a vowel. Now I'm not gonna say any names or nothing, but let's just say there's an equipment manufacturer is trying to copy from another equipment manufacturer. <laughs> <laughs> Not stating the obvious here, but uh, <laughs> looks real. I wonder if the paint matches. I wonder if it's the same. If you go to DuPont and you bought paint for an SDLG, would it be the same code as a different equipment manufacturer? <laughs> it comes to mind. <laughs> I can see it now. L959. Uh, what comes after F? G? I bet it's got red handrails. <laughs> Just not to state the obvious. <laughs> Them are some beautiful rigs there. Beep. What's it feel like? It feels like a truck. It feels like a no, it's an excavator. Look at the look at the shape of it. Captain. Look at the it's not Captain Obvious, that's not my channel. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Obvious! Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's a truck with an excavator to back way. Is that their electric truck? <laughs> now listen, he says, I get around people and I get bashful. I am How can somebody people. with that many punchlines be bashful around anybody? Yeah, well, you know, you're a, actually holding the world from your punchlines. It, yeah. They deserve to hear them. <laughs> you're cheating all of us. I'm sorry, <laughs> yeah, man. I'm just telling you, no pressure. You'll get a picture of your little truck. So this has all been a plot to uh, con Mr. Dirt Perfection into the Champion Pillar booth. We'll see how he takes it. After you, Captain. Well, thank you, sir. My good sir. Uh, but yeah, with number eight, with uh, letter eight there is the correct answer. You know, is he thanking his sponsors? Smooth. Look at that. It is smooth down there. See that thing operating? Smooth. See, um, slow is smooth and smooth is fast. Well, I've been told that. We're thinking responsible. They're right up here. I keep my twenty dollars in here as well.
Operation Manager for CAT is here. He runs many of the company's educational initiatives like these demos. He let me come out to the demonstration center earlier this year in Illinois. I got to see some of this up close and personal. And I got to really watch the experience of these operators behind the hands of these machines. Yeah, absolutely, buddy. And you tell you what, you did a nice job out there, but I'm going to give you a little treat. How about I let you run our UTV today? How's that? Oh, later in the demo? You bet, you. All right, spoiler alert. I'm in. Let's do it. So tell us exactly what are we going to be working on today? Well, because we like you so much, and we know you're a race fan, we're going to build your track today using every little bit of
looks familiar. It's Chinese, ain't it? It is. Look at that. Look at Chinese. Chinese. It's Chinese. It's Chinese. It's Chinese. It's Chinese. It's Chinese. It's Chinese. Got a South Star head on it, don't they? Yeah. Pretty good looking rig, I suppose. You gotta see. You know, everybody, you can talk about it all you want, but you gotta see. You gotta be able to see the knot that's hit up in there. Dude, I gotta shake I your hand. Oh, I thank you, bro. Hey, I watch, thank you. I watch your thank channel you. all the time. You're great. Thank man. you, man. You're great. I appreciate it. You're that great. God, that made my day, bro. I've had a few people, though. Too cool. one heck of a show here at the sandy booth uh it was freaking cool but i can't share none of it on here because the daggone uh monetizing mess uh and the girls was wiggly and the guys was wiggly and uh it was pretty cool to see it was a really good show sandy good job guys uh but i i can't share none of this on here because I, I think it'd get all bent out of shape over the monetize this old boy come in here and it's a thumping on his drums and i got it was a lot, I recorded a lot longer than what I showed, uh, but it just, uh, 
He, he got to having fun with it. I thought it was pretty cool. Now he's just a burn down on the fence rail. He's a showing off. Look at that. Look at him go. That is pretty daggone cool now. Thanks, Bubba. I hope he happens to see this someday. But And then this old boy is dancing in his uh, Olympic ring there. And I don't know. He had all his fingers. That's the first thing I was checking, see if he had all his fingers left on him. Because I know if I tried something like that, my fingers would be gone. And then uh, here's Sante. He's coming in to get ready to, to spoon his uh, ball in one dog bowl and take it over to the other. And this here's at the Volvo booth. Uh, I set it properly, just for so y'all know. Oh, man. But uh, anyway, it was a real cool meet and greet. The meet and greet went great. But uh, I'll... Then this was the next day, I believe, we was walking around with uh, Miss Lee, Big Deal, and all that stuff. Will they call that PD? PDEs or public display? Oh, yes, PDA. PDA? 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 Yeah, she hates that. There's, there's my pride and joy right there. Yeah, because that's the, uh, you know, that's the on it. That's my baby right there. There's a there ain't no cameras looking. Buds on it. Aluminum tracks? Anything to make it lighter, huh? It's cool seeing them build that Monday. Oh yeah? yeah. The outside pontoons make it real balanced on them. There's your how you drive them down. Well, don't like most harbors and stuff. They're, they're, that'd cover all of it, wouldn't it? Yeah. They got it open on the bottom. Probably can pull them all the way up out of there. So for transport. So I guess the. Uh, Counterweight extension so they can use less weight to get more counterweight. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Again, what? I said I guess that extension so they can use use less weight to give it more counterweight. Or are they just gonna put where you can put whatever you want in there for the counterweight? I think some of them actually have it where you can have an auxiliary fuel tank right there because once you go out, it ain't like it's easy to get fuel. So you can take it. I don't know. Honestly. Get you a fuel boat. But I have seen some of them that had like a bigger auxiliary tank back there. Where is uh Brandon? Hey, 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 that's all, folks. <laughs> hey, better get on last. 